Edward Armstrong, father, brother, uncle. A man with an imagination who had a love for making short films and capturing valuable moments in time. You may not know him, but his legacy lives on through the generations that follow. Edward lived in Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe, a beautiful but poverty-stricken third world country. He used a budget Kodak Brahmi, which was common for um, people, within, people with limited budgets. It's all you could afford, and it's probably the simplest and the most common cine camera in those days. Being in a place like Zimbabwe, one never had the best access to the technological resources that many first world countries had. They would often only receive entertaining things like video cameras or cines as they were called, a few years after they were commercialized. It's a labor of love. You, you love what you're doing. You expect people to understand what you're doing. It's so often it bores them. I don't think you care too much. It's truly a shame to think that most of his hours and hours of valuable footage may never be shared. But to all, it should be an inspiration to simply trust your instincts and more importantly, follow your heart. <laughs>